Hi guys, and welcome to Trucking Along with Kiersey. That's me, your positive voice in trucking. I've said it in a video or two before, but um, in September, like September 15th or so, I started to just eat right and started exercising. And, you know, I did a few different things. I'm going to make a video about this place called Healthy Edge that's here in Springfield. Um, I've even taken my students there. It's actually an herbal life type of shake shop, but the shakes are really good. Like if you're a chocolate person or a sweet person like me, they really like carb your cravings, like curve your cravings, I guess. Curb, curb your cravings. There you go. Okay. Look at that. I'm a freaking author and I can't get the right word, but um, they're 25 grams, 250 calories, and like they mix all different flavors like Almond Joy and Twix and Cookie Dough and they have Pina Colada and Apple Pie and Banana Pie and all that. Now one thing we do have here at Prime is we have free nutritionists. We have free physical fitness trainers. They will call you every week. They will motivate you. So even if you're out on the road, they will give you some kind of like an exercise workout plan. They will help come up with like a better diet plan for you and give you meal prep tips and things like that. Um, however, since I'm home most of the time, they also have, yeah, there's like a piece of hair, sorry. It's me. <laughs> Expect these things from me. <laughs> but um, so they even have these workout classes that are very small. They might be two or three people. And if you do want, they will actually have a fitness trainer go around and come up with a weight program. They because we do have a 24-hour gym that have ellipticals and row machines and treadmills and uh, all the types of weights, free weights and universal machines and things like that. So um, I've pretty much been. You'll see me out on the pad doing this dancing thing, and people think I'm dancing, and I'm really doing a walk in place type of thing. So I am down 30 pounds. Yes. Still nowhere near where I knew where I want to be. Um, I have a way to go, but I want to be by a certain weight, a certain size um, by March or April. That's my goal. I will be there because I'm that kind of doer, determined, patient person. But I'm one of those people that I can't do it unless I'm really in the mindset to do it and I'm really motivated. And so, um, you know, being home, it's been easier for me because I have better selections. I have better choices, um, you know, out on the road. I did drop 60 pounds on the road when I was solo. But as soon as I went team, I just like ballooned back up and it sucked. Um, but right now I am down two jean sizes. Yay! So um, hopefully like March or April, you know, I'll scare the heck out of you guys and put like a before and after picture. <laughs> I hope you can see the difference because be honest with you, I don't really feel it. People have said to me, oh, look, you're, you're shrinking, but I don't feel it. Yeah. And I still got this double chin that I hate so much. And some of the trolls, that's what they complain about and you know, whatever. But, um, so I've been doing Nutrisystem system works for me because my body likes to pretty much snack, really. So Nutrisystem's idea is have six meals throughout the day, every couple hours, then you're eating something, which really hard, and this is going to sound crazy, I don't normally eat that much anyway. People think that just because you're heavy, it means you're eating a lot, and that's not really my thing. My thing is I have a really slow metabolism, so when I eat something bad... Because I don't eat a lot and I make the wrong choices, I gain weight. That's really what it comes down to for me. So, um, you know, Nutrisystem's diet, depending on how much you're exercising, they want you somewhere between like 1,500 and 2,000 calories. And I'm sitting here eating like 1,000 to 1,200 calories. But because I'm eating better stuff, it's lower in calories than what I would eat before. You know, like before, throughout the whole day, I might have had two Snickers bars or three Snickers bars, and then I'd sit down at the end of the day and have like a Subway hoagie um, or Sub, Hero, whatever. Back in Jersey, we say hoagie. So um, 
I think that plays a big role. So that plays a big role on adding weight to me. Um, when I do try to lose weight, I lose it very quickly, which yay, but I'm also getting older. And women's hormones, when you get older, they don't like to move as much as they used to back in the day. So that might be an issue right now. Um, last week, I was crazy because my body likes carbs. And people will sit here and say, carbs, bad. Ooh. But guess what? I plateaued for like two weeks and I was really aggravated. So I said to my one student, hey, you know what? Let's go out to Olive Garden. I just feel like having pasta. And I've been working so hard that if this isn't going to work anyway, I might as well just eat what I want. So we went, I ate half the meal, took the other half home, ate the next half the next day. And then a couple days later, I lost two pounds and I'm like, okay, my body just wanted the carbs. So, you know, cutting out carbs and, and being crazy about it um, doesn't necessarily work for everybody. So you have to know what's going to work for you. Um... I am very, very muscular. Even though I'm fat, I'm still really, really muscular. So my body also wants a lot, a lot of protein. So it's like constantly eating grilled chicken. If you're in the terminal, get the grilled chicken. <laughs> All right. I'm just eating a huge salad along with grilled chicken. Watch the salad dressings because, you know, the salad dressings, um, you know, you go and you eat the salad and then you put... 300 calories of salad dressing on that's not cool because some of the salad dressings it's like 180 calories for one little tablespoon or something who puts one tablespoon on so skinny girl salad dressing is one i've been using it has five calories and it actually tastes pretty good i've also learned that if you get anything that's like low calorie as far as salad dressing you don't like it you think it doesn't have enough flavor just put in some like onion powder and some pepper and then that at least spices it up a little bit, or even minced onion, uh, garlic powder, something to just give it some extra flavor. Because, you know, ranch can kind of taste bland sometimes. But um, that's pretty much what I've been up to. <laughs> I've been doing this weight class, and unfortunately, I haven't been able to do the YouTube channel as much. I did a whole day of filming, and I haven't had any time to sit there and actually edit it and Honestly, I hate doing these type of videos anymore because to me, it almost just seems like I don't care to take the time. And I think you guys are entitled and deserve my time. <laughs> um, but I am still on the pad in Springfield. If you want me as an instructor, then yes, put my driver code. That's awesome. But, um, you know, for the time being, I'm going to be here. I do have a couple students. One of my students just came in and he is from uh, truckingtruth.com and he's one of my subscribers and so I was able to get him. I can train anybody who gives me a referral code, but they won't let me just pick students unless you gave me a referral. So um, for right now, that's what's going on. I'm hoping I'll be able to take a couple days off this weekend and then start pumping out some videos that even if I do them in advance, then at least you guys have something to watch. Sorry. <laughs> and I do have some updates on a couple of my students too. So if I get a chance, well, when I get a chance, I'm going to do that and update you guys on that. So thanks so much for watching. Have a great Thanksgiving. And I hope to see you out here truck, truck, trucking along. Bye.